after seven years of grind that you've been through, that you develop that courage to speak up. I lost somebody and you guys put me into jail just because I was her boyfriend. Anything has been written about me, anything has been said about me and people ask me, even you ask me, Suraj, why have you not spoken out? Because I have respect for the person who has gone. I've had enough of this, you know. I want to concentrate on my career, I want to go ahead. I have with me Suraj Pancholi, uh, his uh, film is coming up, Satellite Shankar. And uh, more than the film, I think there are a lot of other thoughts which are there on his mind. And uh, we've spoken about that uh, in detail and uh, he has agreed to speak about those matters. Uh, first of all, pleasure having you on Bollywood Nagama. Thank you. This interview is long pending. It is. Because uh, I know you want this to be a heart and heart uh, conversation. I wanted to do it at the right time because uh, I wanted to gain up the courage to speak about what I've been through and I think now the time is right. This is not for the film, it's not for anything, it's for me as a human. I need to get it off my chest and I want I don't want to change the mindset of the people but I just want to speak my heart out to you. But you did, uh, at the promo launch of Satellite Shankar, you did speak about the matter and um, you broke down, you, you cried as well and you choked but still you insisted that you want to talk about it. Why do you feel that after seven years of grind that you've been through, that you develop that courage to speak up. My trailer launch should have been a happy day for me where I talk about the future, I talk about the film, I talk about uh, what we've gone through uh, while shooting the film. But the reality is that I have suffered for a long time, sir. And it's been a really tough journey, not only for me, but a tougher, tougher journey for my mother, my father. Toughest for my sister, um, because now that we have this social media and everyone is very verbal about everything and everyone has their own judgment you know it's very difficult for my mom and my sister to read those things about me and it is just very painful to see them in tears every time someone talks bad about me because i cannot control uh, the women of the house because they are very uh, emotional when it comes to me you know and uh, i just want this to end uh, whether good or bad, whatever people think about me, I don't, I don't know. I just want this to end because, sir, seven or eight years of my life is a lot of time and it's been a, a big suffering for me. Whatever happened was very sad and my sympathies go to her family. But people don't understand that I, at that point, was the closest to her and I was the support to her and I was in love with her and I lost somebody and you guys put me into jail just because I was her boyfriend on basis of some text messages that every boyfriend and every girlfriend have. The last messages, if you see, of our, of our, uh, our chat, it's, it's her who's saying sorry to me. It's her who's saying, I'm sorry that I've done this. It's me who's saying that you have made my life into a prison. Can you please leave me by myself for some time? I am saying that, it's not her. So I don't know why people thought that I was the person who was torturing her when, when she was saying sorry to me and I was saying, please let me be by myself for some time, you know. Yes, sir, so I'm, I'm here to so speak out. you were the one who called her the last before she took that step? No, she, on the last day, she wanted to meet me. So I'll go two days before that. We had met, her mother was not very happy that she was dating me. Her mother had to say that she's not concentrating on her work and you know, I don't want you guys to be together because uh, you're very young for her. I was very young, I was 21 and she was 27 at that point. So I was younger than her and uh, uh, her mother asked me not to speak to her and not to be around her anymore. And I respected the, that fact and I, uh, took a back step in the relationship, keeping my keeping a, a rock on my heart. I took a back step because I didn't want to come between her mother and her, you know, because it's a family and, and they were having issues for a long time, due, even before uh, I got into the picture. So I never wanted to be the person who can, who is creating problems in the, in the family. So I had told, uh, I called Gia Nafisa, I told Nafisa that I can't really do this. And she got very insecure about and very, upset about me not talking to her as much because her mother had asked me to. We met three days, two days earlier and we spoke about uh, putting a hold on this relationship and uh, she was very upset with her work that was not taking off. She had not done a film for I think a couple of years also. And uh, After Houseful. After Houseful. So it had been a few years and we met. She said that she's going back to London. 
I said, okay, now if you're going back to, she was wanted to leave the industry. She said, I'm going back to London. And uh, my, my, my answer to that was that then I don't think you and me should be in touch because it was only going to be hurtful for both of us to try and make this work when you're not even going to be in this country. You know, what's the point of it? So she was fine with that. We had dinner, uh, you know, things were normal and then the next day her crying and everything started again that she wants to see me and she wants to, she has had a fight with her family and she wants to discuss a few things with me and I put my foot down that I don't want to meet you. I've had enough of this, you know, I, I want to concentrate on my career, I want to go ahead and she really wanted to meet me because she had had some issues in her house that day because her mother was in town at that point. So um, just to the people uh, who don't do not know, um, she lived here. Nafisa lived here, but her family lived in London. Her mother and her stepsisters lived in London. She didn't, didn't have a father. I think she, uh, she does have a father, but they don't li never live together. She had a lot of complications within the family, which I got to know much later. I got to know much, much later after, you know, uh, I fell in love with her. And I'm not that person who would, uh, just because someone is depressed and someone is going through something, would just leave her. I, 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 st I stepped back because her mother asked me to and I respected her mother and I did step back and she wanted to meet, with, meet me on the last day and I just said that I don't want to. She said she's had a fight with uh, her family, her mother and she's really upset and I just said no, you know, I cannot cannot do this anymore, I cannot take this crying and I cannot take this depression coming from, from you every day, I can't, can't do it. Jia said that she had some uh, arguments with her, with, her, with her mom that day. Yes. The decisive day. Yes, even the police is aware of it, even the CBI is aware of it. Well, people have, I have some arguments with my with my family too, it's it's, it's normal, but I just could not be around that, that de depressed uh, uh, situation, you know. I wanted a break for myself because I was really preparing for my first film, Hero. I had signed the film then. I had pressure on me to like, be in a certain way because of the competition and, and such. And then we had a small argument on the phone and the next thing, I, I know that, uh, you know, she's, she's no more. But our fight was a very normal argument. It was not even a fight, it was a basic norm, normal argument. I want to meet you, no, I don't want to meet you right now, we'll talk about it later, yeah, come on, like, I'm going to London, okay, yeah, you know what, leave. If you want to go to London, you go to London, but don't bother me. That was it. And in today's day and age, everybody fights. I fight worse with my sister than I have, you know, with her. People don't understand that a person who's 27 years old. I only knew Nafisa for five months. It has been my shortest relationship. All my other rela relationships have been five years, four years, three years. Mm. It's been my shortest relationship. You can ask any of my ex-girlfriends if I've ever been abusive, if I've ever been physical or whatever. I've, I, have, I have never. I'm not the best person ever, but I am not what people say I am because it is. it has been a media trial for me. And it has been very unfair because anything has been written about me, anything has been said about me and people ask me, even you asked me, Suraj, why have you not spoken out? Because I have respect for the person who has gone. There are such dirty details I know about, about her personal life before I knew about her. Uh, I mean, uh, before I ever knew her, there were stories that I heard and the stories that I know, the stories that CBI and police also know. But I cannot say it out loud. It, it, it's, it's not right because I loved her and I can't talk bad about her her or her family. So that is why I never did. But now if I don't do it, then who then who is going to speak? What are those details? Sir, I can't speak about it. You know, you need to ask ask the, the police or the chart sheet or the best person to talk about it would be her mom because her mom knows what was happening in her life. Okay, but you know, when the letter came out, uh, it's like a long letter that came out and that's when everyone started making the judgments and everyone started just coming to conclusions that maybe the so-called suicide note um, sir, it was found seven days after. No forensic says that it's that particular handwriting. There are mixed reports about the forensic or whatever. But besides that, even if it was handwriting, it does not mention my name anywhere. And why was it found seven days after the the uh, the, the police? Uh, uh, what, how do you call it? Panchnama? I think it's called a panchnama. Uh, I'm not sure in technical words. The police went and they did the investigation in the house. The police was there for two days. And then her mom comes with this letter suddenly after seven days and she does not give it to the police and she gives it to the media. If I want justice, I would go to the police right first and not the media. She had given this first 
a, a printed copy scanned to the media, uh, a seven, eight page letter. Then she, I think then, of course, she had to give it to the police because the police asked for it. It didn't mention my name. It didn't mention Nafisa's name. Why did they arrest me? Because I was her boyfriend, because I had an argument with her. It's so unfair. I was a 21 year old boy and they put me in police custody for about four or five days. Didn't let me meet my family, nothing. And then I was sent to jail for about almost a month in Athar Road jail, in the Anda cell where they put Kasab. That's where you put me, you know. I've been through so much, sir, and no one sees this. Why? Because I was her boyfriend. What wrong have I done in this relationship? Whatever is written about me in the media today. Even a very big newspaper had a front article about me, a dirty front article about, about me, you know. But none of it is true. It is only coming from her family. It is all paid interviews. It's all paid media. It's whatever. It's, it's, I understand that you have lost your daughter and I, I really, my sympathies go with you, but this is not how you can put someone down. She had a, his, uh, Nafisa had a history of depression, history of depression since, since years. I don't want to talk about what uh, her previous cases, there were previous cases on her uh, 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 previous, uh, on the previous boy she was, she, she was with. If you go online, you can find it. I don't want to talk about it right now. It will make me seem as a, as a bad person. Yeah, so they put me, they put me in, in jail for, for being a, a boyfriend. Every allegation made against me, every single one made against me. I'm talking about all the allegations. Abitment to torture, to uh, murder, to whatever. So none of them have been proved and the police and the CBI say that I have no role to play in it. So why is my trial not starting? And even if my trial, my trial to start, it took four years to start. To come to that point, because there were two police investigations, they could not get anything. There was a CBI investigation, they could not get anything. CBI said that we did not get anything, maybe Surat is lying. That is the easiest thing and the safest thing they could say because I, had, I didn't lie about anything and they have to give some answer. If they are appointed, they have to give some answer. They didn't get anything against me, sir. I was a 21-year-old boy sitting with CBI day and night. I think, was it Belapur or somewhere? I used to drive 2-3 hours to get there at 8 in the morning and they used to leave me at 1 or 2 a.m. in the morning questioning me, same thing, same thing, same thing again, you know. And this was while, while I was preparing for my first film, Hero. After doing that, I used to go back home, read my script and do all of that. This is what I was going through. Two police investigations, nothing. A CBI investigation. CBI is doing huge cases, sir. They would not leave me if I had done anything wrong. But why is my trial not starting? It's only because the complainant is not coming to court. I cannot do anything about it. You have put a case on me. I'm the only single person in the history of India that has appealed in court for an expeditious trial to expedite my trial. It means, in layman's word, in layman's words, it is, okay, please let my trial start. It has been a long time. I'm wasting a lot of time of my life. This is my this is my 20s right now. I'm still in my 20s. So the case started when I had just finished 21. My 29th birthday is in is in November. No, is lesser next, than a month. Lesser month. than a month. I'm 29. From 21 to 29, you have taken away uh, like my, my 20s, my peak of my life. You know, it's really not fair. You know, I do want to cry right now, but I will not because I have to speak out and I have to say what it is because it is a uh, it has been hard on my family. It has been hard on my sister. It has been hard going to court every time. I stand in court every time, but the complainants are not there. They put the case on me. If you are the complainant, you want justice, you want the truth, yes, then why don't you come to court? It's because you have to stand in the witness box and you're scared to get cross-questioned. Cross that is why you're not coming. And you can't. And the Indian authorities, can, authorities can't do anything about it. It's because you have a, a British passport. That is not fair. If this, was, if this case was not a media case and it was an Indian based case with two Indian citizens, this case would have been over and out, you know, in the first few months. Do you feel that the fact that it was made into such a big media trial, as you've said, um, it is still a was, media trial. pressure on police and CBI Sir, it is still a media trial because people write Jia Khan's Jia Khan murder case, question mark. First of all, the case is 306. It is an abatement of suicide case. It is not a murder case. It's a, that's a completely different charge. The CBI police said that it's not a murder. How many times do you know they have to say this? They have first of all said it's not a murder, but still media wants to write 
जिया खान मर्डर केस अबिटमेंट एंड अ मर्डर चार्ज आर टू डिफरेंट चार्जेस देखो चार्जेस तो लगाना है ही अगर आप पे एफ दर्ज हुआ है तो चार्ज तो लगना है ही सर वो एफ आई पुल बैक नहीं हो सकता दैट इज आई एम टॉकिंग टेक्निकल टर्म्स नाउ आई हैव बिकम हाफ अ लॉयर बाय बाय गोइंग टू कोर्ट सो आई नो दीज थिंग्स अभी चार्ज तो लगाना है अभी तीस जिस पे चार्ज खुला था उसी पे है सर इट इज नेवर गॉन ऑन अ मर्डर चार्ज वाई डू पीपल स्टिल कॉल मी अ मर्डर फॉर वॉट रीजन आई नोन यू फॉर फॉर सेवल ईयर्स नाउ एंड वी स्पोक एन off and on what i found a bit strange was that someone who has gone through so much i've always found you to be very calm and composed and i've always found that a bit strange that how can someone who has been through so much you've never been bitter we've spoken several times you've never been bitter you've always been extremely polite and courteous and uh, there is a silence in your mind in your personality which is very obvious because you have so much going going through in your mind how have you maintained that composure composure is when i'm out now in front of four cameras in front of you it's composed but i have to go back home and i have to try and sleep every night knowing the fact that this is what people think about me i don't get sleep i have sleeping this a uh, sleeping disorder i have depression i have a lot that i'm going through i don't discuss it with my family because i know that it will hurt them even more maybe this interview will t- tell them that this is what i'm going through i don't get sleep till sometimes 6 in the morning then i try sleeping for some time you know i my mind is constantly running because no matter how much you think you're not guilty or that god is there for you or your family is there but sir it hits you because people talk such a rubbish about you for what reason without knowing anything made me the villain made me the bad person you know on, on basis of what on basis of unprofessional journalism just because my father has a certain image that he's made mistakes in his life he really has mis- made mistakes in his in his life and i'm not happy about them nor is he nor is my mother but he's done it but i have that punctually surname because he's my father i love him but i cannot change the fact that he's my father he has made mistakes and he's been very open about his mistakes but i am also my mother's son my father tells me suraj jo maine kiya wo aap life mein mat karna and this what this is what, what the media gives me back just because i am my father's son it's not fair sir i've seen this industry up down left right whatever it only depends on perception of what other people think you go to studios people first ask you and they find out what people are saying about this particular person and then they give you a film they don't give it on 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 merits of of your job i won all all 95% of the debutant awards i won them what do i do with those awards with people and are not accepting you your next film is coming after 4 years you feel that the case affected yes sir the mm-hmm. fact that people did not approach you so do you think i would have done more films if this case was not obviously there? i would have it, it i'm 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 not saying i'm the best but i am not a bad actor i am decently talented you know and and, and it has been really unfair sir i just want people to understand that this is my life me being an actor me being a public figure is not your life this is my career this is what i'm going to build my family on in the future this is what i'm going to give back with my parents to you know my father is not a superstar today nor is my mother people think i'm a star kid they were stars back in their time but they are not anymore and i have to support them let's talk about little more technical qualities why i said this my father has done really well at his time but that time the highest you would get paid is i'm saying 50 lakh rupees at that time was like a big pay of today but today 50 lakhs is nothing so it's not that i come from a super rich family i do not come from a super rich family yes i have been blessed with 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 parents who have been blessed by their work but i am not a superstar son that you you treat me like a star kid and all of that i have to go through a lot of struggles i have to take care of my family my mother is almost 60 years old i have to take care of them and they're not really working actors you know people don't understand these things and this is my life who's going to give it back to me and do you feel that uh, because zarina ji has been working quite a bit uh, i feel that there may have been occasions when she must have taken work more because of the fact that you guys need the money than the uh, i don't know you know uh, my father is doing his his business we are we are still good but it's not what people assume us to be ke okay? coming from a powerful family might be dominating the case he has connections this that if my father has had connections he would be a working superstar today yaar clearly not because it's not as you seem it to be my fa- father has this personality of a 6 foot 3 guy good looking guy with green eyes but he had his time 
now it's my time and these guys are not letting me shine you also said in, uh, in an interview that um, each time something good starts happening to you there's something that pulls you down we had announced the film and then the entire stupid allegations came up to me what allegations murder the murder charge and everything had come up at, at that point and then the producers they will back out i don't blame them they are really nice people they were giving me a chance after knowing but they have to there's a lot of money involved in this business and i do not blame them for 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 taking me out of the film though that film didn't get made whatever or for whatever reasons i did i tried doing some other films after that too every time i announced my film there would be a media article for 3 4 days regarding my case and this was only backed by the complainants if you have the courage to speak to the media behind closed doors why don't you have the courage to come to court and fight the battle truthfully have they approached you have they tried to speak to you the mother no rabia has she tried to speak to you no for time have you tried to speak to her i would love to because i don't know what have have i done she knows for a fact that i was the only good thing in in nafisa's life i was the only happiness in her life because she was very depressed super depressed and not only me police records will say this to you cbi will say this to you i believe they were the these the forensic experts from uk they impact the case in a way as well no that did not impact the case because the complainants tried getting their own version of a medical report but that is not submissible because i can pay anyone and get any kind of report i want so that is that was a, a stupid thing to do i guess because mm-hmm. the case is in india you can't get any personal personally privately paid medical report today i can get your doctor certificate saying that i have fever does not mean i have fever you know but why is it that rabia does not want to pursue the case for her best known reasons you should ask this to the police and you should ask this to her if she wants justice she wants truth then come to court talking to the media and talking bad about me or the family will not get you justice you want to put me behind bars come to court whatever trial you want to do you want to do this on a 302 charge do it on a 302 charge but start the trial i am ready to face any any charge they want but at least come to court it's very convenient that you put a case on someone you b- b- give a story to the media they publish it and then you you vanish i've never ever told the court that i I'm, i'm not going to cooperate i've cooperated with every single thing my entire 20s i've been going to court and you can look at my uh, uh, attendance in court even after you're an accused you're not it's not that you're not supposed to you don't need to go to court because accused has no role to play in court but i still go and the complainants catch a flight and they go back to london because they have a house and the, they have a passport from there one day before two days before they fly back it's so unfair people think i'm the bad guy but just look at it like that like i'm going to court because i want this to end peacefully and with the truth did you at any point of time try to speak to the certain media people who were writing those stories because uh, they were primarily source based stories many so times. i've met journalists in court every time i have a trial there are people from the uh, uh, crime department of of journalism that are in court there have been times when the judge has said why are the complainants not coming to court and she has shouted at the uh, public pros- prosecutors and uh, her, her lawyers but then when i asked the the journalist to to cover this they said no suraj there's no nothing negative about you so we can't can't write it because it will not get traction is my life traction for you so you feel that anything to do with you that is that is negative anything that is negative they want to write anything that is in my favor they don't want to write maybe because i don't have the funding for it i guess i don't know did you at any point of time feel like maybe swing any of the media reports or any of the journalists because some of them were were really defamatory as you've said that there is a certain perception that has been created around you and people started believing that i just want them to feel guilty for what they have done to me i don't want to do a court battle with them because they are doing their job and they're doing it wrongly i hope they get better and i hope they don't ruin anyone else's life amidst all this um, salman khan believed in you completely and he backed you yeah. through and through and uh, be it uh, a first film you went with him for the bang tour in uk as well you performed in london is because i worked with him as an assistant director he knows me personally people who know me personally know about me if you ask close people you yourself you know me how i am personally and i think i cannot go and, and change everyone's heart and everyone's mind so he knows how i am personally and and he spent a lot of time with me and he knows what i've been through and he knows what the media is capable of 
to change things and twist and turn words the way they want to. So I think that is why he's been there for me. And uh, in spite of the fact that uh, he himself uh, faced backlash several times, yeah. uh, there was backlash on, on Salman Khan as well. You're backing someone who is having this, this case against him, but he still believed in that he must still, have been quite a saving grace for you, quite a so, morale, so boost, that morale boosting. That itself for you. is a judgment on its own because he has his own problems and he's helping someone who has even more deeper problems because he knows that how I am. He knows that I am truly innocent. So how has this entire case affected your personal relationships in the last seven, eight years? Do you have these issues of maybe not trusting people and maybe you're just keeping everything, all your messages. And I, I am very scared. Documenting I am, them. And I, I am very scared what I say, to who I say. You know, it's it's trauma to me. I don't answer people's calls at a certain time in the night because I don't know what the person is going through. I'm very scared of, of even being a little bit rude to anybody because I don't know what the consequences could be because I was blamed for a, s a small argument I had, so I'm, it's like trauma to me, you know. Sub in my subconscious mind, I'm very scared because I don't trust anybody anymore. And talking about relationships in my family, we have not laughed openly, sat down on a dinner table, had dinner and laughed in seven, eight years because we all have been through so much pain. Every time my mo mother sees me, in her smile, I know that she has a lot of pain for me, but she does not sh try showing it. But I know my mother's eyes, I know what she's going through and she knows what I'm going through. It's very unsaid. We have not had a birthday, lunch, dinner and we have ever laughed. Never. You also said at the promo launch of Satellite Shankar that uh, you don't want this to continue for the next 14 years or 20 years. I cannot. You want this to end. I cannot, sir. I thought, ek saal lagega, do saal lagenge, chalo, teen saal lag gaye, char saal lag gaye, paan saal, che saal, saat saal. Sir, it is a lot of time. It is a lot of time. Imagine me thinking about it 24 hours of my life for 7 years. You know what torture that is. So do you feel that this is the topmost priority that you're having as of now? The top get most with? priority is that I just want to work. I want to make my family happy with the work I do. I want to make my fans happy with the work I do. I just have left to God now to let the court case settle because it is not in my hands anymore. One more thing that uh, that I have felt is that many times we see that people who are going through tough times and all sorts of uh, tribulations are there, they tend to just uh, in a way, you know, give up and give up in terms of even their, their physical being as well. But we've always seen you that, that you are this fit guy and who takes care of your body. I've always been trying, sir. I, I never stop. I always try whether it's something small, big, something progressive. I always try and I've been trying for the past seven years and I will not stop. I think there will be bigger hurdles in life ahead. Uh, which I am ready for. But do you feel that it in a way just vents out your energy and help you just... Uh, are you talking about meditate? me training and everything? Yes. It, yes. it is my source of meditation. I, I like training that much because I love to train and it is my form of uh, meditation. It is my antidepressant. Sweating it out is my antidepressant and, and I think it has helped me and, and I'm so happy that I've, I've figured out a way to keep myself calm. What are your views on relationships now? I'm open to relationships, sir. Why not? You know, love for me is everything. A very emotional person even when it comes to relationships and I'm maybe not the best ever prin Prince Charming but uh, of course I'm, I am open to relationships. Do want to settle down have my family in the future of course. What about movies? Satellite Shankar and then what next? So are you after playing? Satellite Shankar I'm doing a sports biopic. It's on a Indian sports hero who won India a few gold medals in the Asian Games internationally. The only sportsman who has never lost in his career. What's his name? I can't say so. Okay, okay, okay yeah. that's okay. And anything else apart from that? Uh, for now, it's, it's that. And then I'm reading a few other scripts. I want to do some nice, in interesting work. And you had a film with Isabel Caff as well? Yes, it's uh, still with T-Series. We have about seven, eight days of shoot left for that. And uh, can you see you doing something with Salman's production now? Salman Khan's production now? Is that something that... I don't know. You need to ask him. I think you're promoting Dabang tomorrow, I think you should ask him this. Last question to you is that, uh, what has been the contribution of your mother? You've spoken about her on and off during this conversation, but uh, I think she enjoys a tremendous goodwill 
within the industry both as a person as an artist and uh, i think everyone has only good things to say about her maybe about your father as you've said that maybe there have been certain issues but about your mother uh, there have been only good things what has been her role in the last 8 years for you she's mostly been there for my sister and my father she knows i'm strong and i can handle myself i don't discuss my problems with a lot of people not actually i don't discuss my problems at all i think a hug from my parents keeps me sane uh i talk to my sister sometimes but uh, talking about my mother again i think she's the strongest person in our family though my father's and me father and me are physically strong you know we look strong but uh we are actually very weak people emotionally and she's kept us together she's kept the family strong and i think only a woman in the house can do that and have you at any point of time in the last 8 years taken any counseling no you not require that i don't know if i require it but uh, i think i should just be away from it i just want to focus on my career yeah surat thank you very much for talking to us and uh, we hope that this ordeal ends for you soon i hope and, so too um, keep on being the person that you are because i've had only good experience with you, thank you. and uh, would love to see you happy and settled down thank you so much man thank you thank you sir. thanks that's all we have from bollywood now keep on watching <laughs>